Hey guys, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with me, Time and Tactics. We are in the middle of deciding what to do, or designing our new ships here. They're designed, but we need to actually get something in production here. We have our submarines. How many do we have now, by the way? We have 23 and 10. So we have 33 of them right now. And when we attack, that's going to have to do, right? It's going to have to be enough. Let's go ahead and stop the production of them. And I know we have a couple of ships down here being, uh, yeah, they're going to be upgraded. The destroyer hulls here for 1936. Okay. But we want to produce new ships, right? So I want to get the heavies in there, right? Because we don't have very many. We have two, two, uh, two light heavy cruisers right now, as well as one battleship, the Espana, the old Espana there. We're going to keep that one. So let's go ahead and select them here. 1940, that's the one we have. We're not going to create a variant. We're going to spend 8,000. So if I bring that one up and then go all the way to the top here. And we'll say we uh, put in our... Oh, we can only put five. I forgot about that. Mm, we can only put five. Now, they're sitting here and using up all of the slots. We don't want to do that. We're going to bring them down first here. Um, so we're using five here. How long is that going to be? 15th of June. See, I had no idea how long it's going to be. 1942. Hmm. So we got to have a couple of these going. Let's do that. So we get another one. We only have two. Bring it up to the top. These are the most important ones, I think, to have going. 1947. Now that's not going to work out. And so 15th of June again. We have uh, a couple dockyards left. Now that's two of them. I think... Are we getting a... Well, we're going to have to get... We have to keep him there, I think. Well, we have a few being upgraded here as well, which we can probably upgrade more ships. Maybe we'll start with these, and then we'll see what we're going to upgrade from our fleet up here. And we can't upgrade anybody. I was hoping we should be able to upgrade these, but I guess I must have put too many things on there. Principe Alfonso... Yes, what do we do? <laughs> I must have messed that up. Let's take a look at them again. So that would have been a light cruiser, right? It's obsolete now. Prince Pei Alfonso is obsolete. So we have this Mark III cruiser. Yeah, we do. Oh, I selected it. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and... Yep, get rid of that and go back in and take a look at it instead. So we did upgrade this one too much. Right, so now it can't be, we can't upgrade the Prince of Bay Alfonso's. Well, that's unfortunate. So we're going to have to build these. That's all we can do. So, yeah, let's go ahead and build them. Uh, these are the ones that are going to do surface attack. These are the light cruisers. I think I might want to go ahead and get my destroyers out there, right? Let's go ahead and look at the destroyers. So we have one here, 1944. That's the one, right? 1722. I think that's the one I want. Yep, that's the one. We're going to do attack here. We're going to use our depth charges as well. So we have two depth charges here. Level one. Hmm, that's not very much. But we did that last time. <laughs> what about the light cruiser? Did they already have um, no depth charges here? But we have the submarines too, right? They can also attack, can't they? But they're not going to have too many of submarines, right, going. I don't think so. Let's go ahead and get this 1936, uh, no, not 1944 cruiser built up, right? We're going to do a lot of attack there. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to build that, and then let's bring that all the way up to the top. Not quite all the way, but here. And we put 10 of them there. We have 22. Yep. Let's go down. Well, we'll leave it at that. They're going to be upgraded. Then this one's going to be maxed out, right? So August 1941 right now. Wow, we're not going to get too many of these in, are we? Obviously, Spain doesn't have too much, right? We want to build a lot more dockyards, is what I'm thinking now. What do we have? No, we're building a lot of uh, other things instead. Well, when that's available, let's go ahead and build another dockyard. Let's do that. I think that will do, and we'll keep on uh, producing. So that's looking good so far, and uh, we're going to see what happens here. Free civilian factory, there it is. That's a dockyard coming up right there. We're going to have to save the border provinces here for more dockyards, right? 
Yeah, let's get them in production. Uh, get them ready for production. September. Well, that's only because we have four. It's not going to take that long. No, it won't. So where are they going to be placed these, though? Where are we going to put them? We're going to put them in the main fleet, right? Yeah, in the... Where are they at? Uh, service Fleet 1. Eh, for, sort of task Force 1, I guess. Okay, we'll rename that Task Force... I think it's Task Force, I think it is. Task Force 1. Okay, that's good. Now, these are pretty good, though. They have a lot of experience. Not all of them, but most of them do. 1936 hold their Canarias. Is this fleet really going to be able to um, do a lot of damage against the British? I don't know. We'll see. We have one experience here. We do gain a little bit every day, so that's fine. Once we have more, we could go ahead and see if we can upgrade them as we get more things in here, like this one. Improved medium battery. It's going to take three, right? Experience. We're going to have that pretty soon. I think, actually, because we're gaining 164. Yeah, not too bad. Seven days, we'll have two, right? Oh, look at that. The British were uh, landing troops there. And there is our medium battery. So that's for light and heavy both. We could use that now, right away. And we might do it, anyway. You know what? I might want to go ahead and improve my depth charges there. Let's do that. 12. Yeah. Okay, so now we could actually go in and change our ships around. If we do that, um... We got weapons for a, uh... Well, what about this one here? 1940. Let's see. If we update... Was it this one here? Medium battery. Yes, this one here. There it is. <clears throat> Cost three to replace. We have two. We should do this one, right? Because the, it will go up by from 39.9 .9 to 40.5. Not that much, actually. Just a little bit. Hmm, not very much at all. We may want to wait till we have better stuff. Let's build as many as we can, then we can upgrade them, right? Let me double check that we can't actually upgrade anybody here. No, we can't. Yeah, they're on their way there. Refitting. Hmm, okay. And we have a civilian factory ready. Yep, let's get another one of these. Uh, Baja over here. Okay, good. I want to get as many of these ships as possible in play. And then sometime in 1942, maybe we'll attack. Natural focus? Okay, here we go. Now we have that naval bomber that we can uh, research, right? Two years, uh, that penalty of two-year helm. Head penalty and 100% research bonus. Good, that is excellent. What else do we have? Close air support. Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that. Right? I don't think so. Armor effort, armor technology, and then special forces here. We might want to get that because we might want to go ahead and play with them. Oh, we don't have the requirement. We need actually armor effort as well. Okay, let's get the armor effort then. Um, require mechanization effort. Oh. Okay, this one. Motorized. Yep, let's do that. So that gave us what? Uh, what did we just get? Let's go ahead and take a look at this again here. Um, we did research. Uh, I forgot which one we actually got now for this one. Well, let's take a look at what we have here. Was it naval? Uh, it was naval. This is armament, wasn't it? Yes, we do have that one now. So now we have two. Once we get to three, we can use that. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, civilian factory here. We have another one. Okay, let's get another one. There. More say up. They're all being produced. Once we get three in experience, let's upgrade the heavy to do more damage, right? Yeah, let's do that. Naval invasion in the Iberian region. Uh, yeah, that was before. I don't think it's now. Right? I don't, I don't see anybody here anyway. Not invading. Yeah, they're not going to make it anyway. That's for sure. Once we get to three, let's go ahead and uh, take care of business. There they are. No, that's the Germans. Okay, now we have three. Let's change then a little bit here. We'll update our one design for the heavy. I think the heavy, right? So if we upgrade this one. Well, wait a minute. We have a lot of these level two. It's cost three for each one to upgrade. 
Hmm. You know what? That might not be worthwhile. Might be better to get the destroyers. Because we're going to get more of those out, right? Let's see. 1944 destroyer. We're building that, right? And right now, level 1 here. We can't do anything about that, I don't think. Death charge. We should probably do something about that. Instead of anything else, right? Uh, yeah. Are we researching anything there? We're not doing any death... Yeah, we are. In 140 days, we can upgrade it. And then we'll have more of the experience points anyway. Yeah, let's do that. How are we doing with our ships here? Um, we're getting more soon. Oh, look at that. We're using so much steel that this one here to destroy is going to take forever. That's a problem. We have to import more. Can I do that? Who would give me steel? I feel I need steel. German? Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, we can probably get more. Can I do that? Can I get more? Yeah. We'll do that. And they will send us more, hopefully. Now, plus one. Okay, that is very, very helpful. We are not uh, not enough chromium. Who has chromium? If they have chromium, Germany. That's tungsten. That's chromium. Uh, Soviet Union, Turkey. We can do Turkey. They're neutral, right? We'll do that as well. So production here is now looking pretty good. July 1941. Getting one out there. We're going to get that faster soon. There's only one destroyer. And that reminds me, we should probably switch over now to get, um, we have 362 fighter twos here, to get that plane, right? Didn't we get that? That's what we got. That's what it was. No, we're sitting here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two year ahead penalty removed. This is the one we want, right? 132 days. Should I switch back? No. Advanced oil processing. Once that's done, yeah, let's go ahead and switch over to that one, and then we'll produce more of those naval bombers when that happens. The naval bombers are the ones I'm going to have to count on, right? Because my fleet's going to be inadequate, right? So in three days here, let's make sure we get that. More oil processing, 50% there. That's good. And then let's get that bomber. Uh, two year ahead penalty. What is the normal time? 170. Oh, that's good. Let's get that one. 127 days. And then that naval bomber will make a big difference when we sail out and take out the British fleet, right? Uh, send volunteers request from Japan. Okay. I didn't even see that. I must have double clicked on that. Hmm. Free civilian factories. Okay. More. Uh, I think uh, one, two. Yeah, we want more. We're filling in nicely here. 9th of July. We're building unlimited number here. And same here. I want to get a lot of these heavy cruisers. We're not getting any light cruiser. But I'm thinking this ship here. 1944. Destroyer hull Mark 1. It's going to be the one, right? This one here. If we can squeeze in more depth charges, then it's pretty good against light. Anti-air. It has a good engine. Radar and sonar, and torpedoes. It's a pretty good one. We should get more of that one, I think, right? I mean, it sounds pretty good. Light attack, 4.7. If you compare that to the light one here, this one, which is the one, other one we're building, right? Yes, we're, uh, we're going to build this one. 12.6, light attack, and then the heavy. Nothing in light attack. So we're going to count on this destroyer here. 4.7 is not bad. So let's get this one upgraded, depth charges, when they are ready. And that is going to be in 112 days. Yeah, let's just keep building there. I think it's a good mix. Uh, did we repair or upgrade our ships down here? Not yet. September, because we only have one factory each. Well, that's fine. We don't need more than that, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's fine. September. They're going to be upgraded them. Okay. And then we have uh, 40, 40, 36 here. Yeah. I would love to get another negative 7 here. Get another um, destroyer in production here. Because 1 9th July it takes forever to get them, right? Oh, wait. No, it's done. 9th July. That is actually now. Tomorrow. 29th of August. Not that long, right? Oh, Germany breaks Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Okay, they did that right on time, right? Didn't they? The non-aggression pact between Germany and the Soviet Union, a surprising development to begin with, has now been less surprisingly fallen apart. 
Okay, we'll see what they do. And they declared war on the Soviet Union as well. Do you have enough units here? You do. They have brought them back. Okay, so they are attacking there now. It's going to be up to us to help out. Oh, they have quite a few units here as well. Hmm. How are we doing in Africa, though? I haven't even looked to see if... We're, they're holding back here, right? We have our one unit here. Yeah, nobody is uh, pushing us back. Belgium still has there, here. And Italy has pushed back the United Kingdom down here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, I think, right? And in Asia as well. And I think Japan's going to be ready when the United States enter the war. Not yet, but they will, obviously, when Japan attacks Pearl Harbor, right? Um, okay, so it's looking good here. What about our fleet now? Oh, Japan declared war on the Philippines. Okay, so they're going to attack there. What do we have in our fleet? We have 14 ships. We should have gotten a new one here. 1944, look at that one right there. That's our best one, isn't it? But it's not very good in experience. We should probably, should we actually try to take them and have them um, gain experience? We're going to lose oil right now. It takes 1.2 years to get to our max. Fuel capacity, 1 million. We need all that, definitely. The United States is still providing us some, but they're not going to do it for long. If we're going to practice or train, we should do it soon. Because that is one way to get free damage, right? We could take all of these here that are not fully trained, and that's most of them, and create them, uh, put them in a different fleet, and then tell them to go ahead and uh, train, right? Naval exercises. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that, and then we'll see how much it is. If it's too expensive, we'll stop, right? Let's see if I can figure that out. Create a new task force. Um, <laughs> not all. We can take them one by one here. Uh, what if I pick... Uh, Split, no. Yeah, we have to do it like this, I guess. Okay, well, let me do that real quick, and I'll set up. I'll come right back. Okay, here they are. I've split them apart. I put them in a task fleet here. So we have a task force here called the Exercise Task Force. All the ships that are not yet fully trained. We have a couple ships left here. Four, there's one more coming in here. I kind of messed it up. And that's going to be looking good, right? They're going to then be... Uh, sitting here and then we'll take these nine we'll see now what happens to this here right now Navy consuming zero let's see how much they consume we'll go down and speed a little bit so we can just get that number it might not show up right away uh, what they're doing uh, they're sitting on wait are they actually in nope they're not yet there well like, assign them there now let's see here how much we're gonna use fuel 1.2 still there we go 460 a day Still going to make it, right? That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, practice that. Yeah, let's keep doing that. So this fleet here, they're going to go up. Uh, experience, what was the experience there? Fresh, uh, 89%. It's going to go up, I think, right? Let's go ahead and see if it goes up. Yep, 92. It's going up. I'm doing the right thing here. I was worried about it. Um, service fleet, uh, Task Force 1. Okay, it's waiting. They're all in good shape here. Once we have these four, we'll take a look and see if these are uh, they're refitting right now. With only one dockyard, that's why they're here. Actually, I might want to give more f uh, dockyards to them so they come out there quicker so they can join the practice fleet, right? Actually, what we could do, we can take all of these as well. You know what? That might be a good idea. What if we do that? Disband the task force? I'll do it. Okay, yeah. And we'll take them as well. Okay, so now 42. Uh, they're coming in here in a minute. So let's see if they join up here. They should join up. They're sailing out there. Yep, to join up down there. So 42 there now. How much are we using? It's going to take us four, over five years to gain back because we're using one a day. We're making what a day? Um, daily gain is 1.2. And we're using uh, right around there, right? So 1.2, and we're using 1.4 a day. But that's because of the practicing training. I guess I'll do it. We need to get them up to uh, to speed. Because that's free damage, right? Wait, what happened? Free friends call United Kingdom as enemy in United States join the Allies. Okay, they joined the Allies. They're not in the war yet, right? Are they in the war? Did we get an attack by the Japanese? Let's take a look at the United States. 
They're at fighting defensive war against uh, Chinese war. Oh, that's Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Japanese war in the United States. Yeah, they did attack then. I didn't see um, uh, the numbers there. Are they still giving us what we need from fuel? Oh, eight fuel. Or eight uh, oil still. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, we're going to lose this now. Lose oil here every turn. Um, that's not good. Wait a minute, what happened? We have a call to arms. Call to arms, call to arms. Want to do that? <clears throat> if we do that, we're going to join the war. We should do it, right? Allies, yeah. It's going to be against the United States. They're in here somewhere. I don't see them, but they're in here. Oh. Soviet Union, yeah, there's a lot of enemies here. We're going to lose all that oil. We're going to go down pretty quick in our fuel here, right? Now we're getting 460 from the United States. Our army is using 344. We could cut back on that and increase the Navy. Let's maybe do that. Air is using 48. They're kind of circling around, helping out. Yeah, we'll go ahead and accept it. That is the right thing to do as uh, Spain, right? Okay. Um, call to arms don't have to do that because we're going to be accepted automatically. And that means we're going to be losing more here, right? They're not going to send us anymore, are they? At the end of the month here or something, they will be changing their mind. Huh? They are still, they're still getting it. Uh, what happened? Call Hungary as our ally. United States can call Luxembourg enemy. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be 4.9, 4.6. Oh, wait a minute. What happened? We are now actually gaining it a lot quicker because the oil is gone. See that? The fall of Hong Kong. Troops from the Empire of Japan have captured the British Crown and colony of Hong Kong. Yeah, that was pretty quick, right? Free France called Norway is our enemy. Yeah, Norway is Vichy France, right? Isn't it? Yeah. We now have uh, Swedish units there as well. Okay. So there is the front line with the Germans against the... Soviet Union. I don't know if I'm going to send units up there. I could do that. Attack from the south, maybe. It's going to cost me, though. And I want to be able to attack the United Kingdom. I might really want to see how that goes. That's even a possibility to do. In 4.2 years, we'll use all of our oil. What about the army? It is practicing. It is training. This one here. Two of them are done. Okay, you can join the turquoise army. And you can join the Turkish army as well. We have two more units there. We can just say, well, that's just a little bit of time. You know what? That's just not going to take very long. They're up to 94% there. 95%. They can go ahead and practice up. And then after that... You know, army 344, 253. Okay, it's looking better. But look at that. It's going down quick, quick, quick. Isn't it? 2.9 years. We're going to be out. We can't afford that, can we? Okay, let's see what uh, what's happening here. How much are we up to now? 95%. It's going to take a little bit to get that. 2.8 years. Well, how much are we making? We're making um, current consumption 1.3. Yes. Mm. Army 251. Air 48. It's that Navy. I mean, it's just too much for us to train all of our... Um, all of our Navy up as well, right? It's this huge fleet of 42 here, all practicing up. I mean, I'd like to do it, but now I've done a little bit of it, so I maybe should have continued. Although some of them are looking better here, right? If I could get them up a little bit higher, damage minus 10 here. These here, no uh, modifier. Then if you're experienced, even better, right? They're fresh. Oh. Yeah, any ship that comes out is going to have this problem, right? And really what I should practice is the newer ships. That's what I should do. I don't know if I have enough here. 2.8. Well, we're not going to attack yet. But we are losing everything here. I mean, we're losing. It's going to be going to be gone sooner here uh, than later. Consumption is 1.3. We are making... Um, where is that number again? Daily gain 796. We can't afford the entire Navy doing it. That's for sure. I may have to take a few of these off. I mean, like take off the, the ships that are the smaller ones. These here, 1940. Well, we can take off the 1936 hulls, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. We'll take them off. And we'll just assign them back to... 
I'll take these to start off with. Um, 1936, yeah. Create a new fleet from that, maybe. Oh, we'll assign them to... Oh, we don't have a fleet here. We'll put them there. Ten of them. They're not practicing then anymore. Or exercising. Uh, how much do we go down to? 1.1. It went up. It went up. It shouldn't go up. 1.1. Because we're not uh, training with them, right? Oh, wait. The ten are here. The ten are here. And they are not training. This is a... This is the fleet that's training. Operating in the Western Mediterranean. But we don't really need to do that, do we? Well, let me go ahead and mess around with that a little bit. And I'll come right back after I've organized them. Okay, so, yeah. I took out all the submarines. And we're just leaving the rest of the fleet here. And they're training. And then we're just barely breaking even. Look at that. Consumption 743. And we are producing daily gain 796. So, mm. But once the army is done training, and it will be done pretty soon, we're going to gain that back, 253, I think. Air, we're doing a, an attack. Air, we're, I guess we're supporting right now. I'm going to go ahead and maybe take that off as well. What do we have here? Non-aggression pact. Call to arms. I guess we'll do call to arms, right? I guess we have to do all, call to arms to all of them. And Japan, yep, yeah, non-aggression pact. We'll do that as well. Now, can we call the New Zealand? Okay. Now, the Air Force, where are they at? So we have these here, working in Egypt. You know what? Uh, this one here, we don't actually have to do anything, do we? We can just tell them not to do anything. Are they going to be then... Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and just station them here. So they're not going to be doing any attacks then, right? And then we'll take a look and see what how that actually affects our fuel consumption here. We were at, yeah, consumption 695. Air is zero now. Army is 253. I can bring that down a little bit more as soon as we have that army ready. This one, where is it at? This one here. And that is sitting at 97% and 98%. Let's go ahead and speed that up. Oh, look at that. British Raj. Well, that's a lot of them don't have any units, right? Canada's, Canada does have units, though. Um... Now, they could be attacking here. It's possible they're going to come in and attack us here. That is not impossible. 99%. And there we go. Now, we're done. Let's take them. We're going to disband that army. And we're going to take that last unit and put it in the Turkish army. Yep. And now, we should be better. Let me just see if I go. Yep, there we go. Army 126. We're moving units, I guess, somewhere. We have units somewhere taking up a little bit. 126 somewhere. Hmm, nobody is... They might take up a little bit. They're defending this region here. I don't know. They might. That might be what we're looking at there. But we're not losing too much now. Consumption 568. We're making a uh, daily gain 796. We should gain more. It takes five, more than five years to get it, though. What I should do, I should get another one of those refineries, right? Construction here. After we get this done... Let's get another refinery. There. Yeah, let's do that. National focus completed. Mechanization effort. Okay. That was so that can go down. Maybe sp get special forces eventually. We get the uh, armor effort there. And how are we doing on our fleet now? I did say I was going to go ahead and upgrade them. Otherwise, it's going to take a long, long, long time. Look at that. 1943. Yeah, that's too long. We have uh, 25 dockyards used. I could, you know, go down a little bit here on these. Uh, let's maybe do that on the destroyer. We'll go down here. And then instead we'll get them to... Two. There. Okay. What does that take us? It's August 16th, 1941. Huge difference there. And we got convoy interdiction. That would be a surface detection. Five. Rating efficiency, organization 10. Torpedo reveal chance minus 10. Good for our submarines, right? This one here is 100%. So that would be... Um, that's a good one, right? Air doctrine, we can also do that. We said we would do that before. I won't need this eventually, right? And we have... I don't want to go down this path. I don't think so. Naval. Well, we're going to sit tight what we got, I think, right? What about those uh, planes? We were saying we had 
We're going to forget about this one. We're working on this one already. Okay, yeah, I'll say we go for this one then. Let's go for that. Naval Bomber in 101 days. Then we can go ahead and build them. And I'm going to do that. Let's scan the list here, though. We have used all of our factories. We're getting as many cruisers as we possibly can. Heavy. No light, I guess. And then uh, the destroyers are getting... Uh, yeah, going to get another one out there in September. It's pretty good. Down here, we're going to get them out soon. Pretty soon, anyway. Oh, there's one missing there. Let's go ahead and take one off. There. And now we should use them up. Okay, yeah. August 13th here. We'll take about uh, two weeks till we have everybody squared away. Once they're done, we're going to go back out and join up. And then we'll see uh, if they need training or anything. Infantry anti-tank. That's the one that gives us a bonus right off the bat. And I'm thinking I want this one here. 1943. But that is a long ways away. 1941 is what it is now. Working on this. Um, mechanized. Motorized infantry hardness. It's a good one. Because we have a lot of motorized units, right? I think I'll take this one now. Okay. Now what else do we get? Uh, join war from the Angolan Empire. Um. Yeah, I guess we're going to take that. I guess there's no negative here. Non-aggression pack from Manchuko. We'll accept that. Yeah, we'll take it. Non-aggression there as well. Might as well, right? There's no negative there. How's the war going? Mm, a summary of all the wars here. Uh, okay. Manpower 7.9. Losses 3.3. We lost 2.3. Not too bad, right? Our casualties. United Kingdom, Free France. Yep. Okay. Well, that's looking pretty good. This is the German-American War and German-Soviet War. How is that war going against the Soviet Union? Oh, they're pushing east. They are definitely pushing east, the Germans up here, as you can see. They're winning most of these battles here. I'm not helping out right now. I am trying to get into a position where I can then divert some of the units here. Who knows? The British, I mean, the Americans might come and attack. Well, what are they up to? I don't know. They are down here in Hawaii. Wake Island, they own that already. Free France is here. Don't see anything. We don't know what's going on there. And our oil situation, 3.1 years. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. We're not losing a lot now. I think it's the right choice. Our surface fleet, we want to make sure that one is actually a getting enough. Yeah, this one here is training up. That's going to be all we need for now. And production is looking good. These are going to be done uh, pretty soon. In about two weeks, like we said. And then we're getting more ships here. But 1942... You can only get two of them. Wow. But it's two good ones. Two heavy cruisers. It makes a difference, right? And then destroyers here. We can just pump out them instead. Yeah, so get two of them here. Should we get another one? Right now we have 34. We can fill this up, but that's about it. That's all we can do, right? 5, 10, 15. No, we can actually do one more of these. And then the remainder will go on the destroyer fleet, right? Because we're still producing two more here. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll do that next time, guys. I'm out of time again. So I'll see you then and uh, come back for more of uh, Hearts of Iron 4. Bye, guys.